We have all heard and seen what the male gaze is. It's how you see and portray women. But the looking down, the judging, the whistling, it's been seen as rude and unattractive for men to do that. But yet, we see it in movies all the time. To counter this, there was the creation of the female gaze, which is very similar to the male gaze, but the opposite. And it's to challenge the patriarchal status quo. They are challenging the male producers and saying, you can do it, so can we. But I'm not here to talk about the male or the female gaze. I'm here to talk about another way of looking. One that doesn't judge, that doesn't sexualize, and it doesn't make someone's body the object. The gaze that I'm talking about is called the natural gaze. This is being created because not everyone wants to watch a movie that sexualizes people. We want to watch something and enjoy it for the story, not the sexy men or the woman. We live in a time where people like to fantasize about things that, you know, may never happen. My favorite question is, who's your celebrity crush? I always like to mess with them and be like, oh, it's, you know, it's this guy. And be like, no, really, who is it? We're seeing more and more celebrities challenge the gender lines and dress like people who you may not think they are. Take Ezra Miller, for example. He has all the qualifications of being a man, but that doesn't mean he has to be one. So I challenge you to fight the system and demand change. Nobody should be restricted to what other people say they are. If you are who you say you are, and you're happy, then who am I to tell you different?